Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. Today I have the, uh, the pleasure of introducing Chris Palmeres from Athern Trains. He is the new brand manager. And uh, thank you so much, Chris, for coming here today. I really do appreciate it. And um, basically, Athern is probably known as one of the top lines in H, uh, HO trains. So there is no doubt about it. All the model fans know Athern Trains Genesis, ready to run, uh, just a premium quality of trains. So basically, Chris, um, we're getting tons of new product from you guys. Right. And um, not that it's overwhelming or anything because they've been going out. Um, explain the, the GATX tank train. Why is this one in such hot demand? I mean, the first run, we got it in, we sold out, pre-sold out. And now you're coming out with the second release. And I guess if you could go over the difference between uh, an early version or late, what's the exact difference? Well, there's quite a few differences. Actually, the first two runs were of the same SKUs. And that means there was just such a high volume of demand for it the first run that there was still more to be had. So right. we ran it the exact same numbers just to make sure everybody could start off from a clean slate, right. have the same numbers, and then move forward. So the first two runs actually were for a 12-car set. Okay. Now, the prototype, the actual tank train, hmm. that varied from 11 to 13 cars. So it was kind of an intermediate number of cars in the unit. So you'll see that we have enough numbered cars to occupy a 12-unit car set. Right. Now, the third one is going to be a 13-car set. It'll have enough numbers to do the entire 13 cars. Um What's going on with the, the differences between early and late is you can see kind of up here on top, there's a number of really um, indi indicative spotting features, starting off with the domes. Wow. If you look at the domes, they differ between the late and the early. Gotcha. Okay. Now, the second key variance between the two is the connecting pipes with the different shutoff mechanism and the swing arm and stuff like that. Right. It starts off short, and the late one has a long connecting pipe. Interesting. So those two variances are what defines early and late between the... And, and you'll notice that in some of our uh, new announcements that we announce the late paint scheme, but with an early body version. We're talking right, about this right. body version, but with reporting marks only. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, I think it's the, the vertical reflector stripes. That, that's the okay. other key key difference for the, yeah, the late but, paint scheme. But notice the, the detail on these tank trains. It's just unbelievable. Um, I, I mean, you could clearly read all the decals, the signs, do not hump. Um, just unbelievable, really nice, high quality. Um, this is probably your most well-received Genesis tanker. Well, you know, it, it was also, we're modeling a train instead of just a freight car. Right, you know? right, right. So this has kind of brought a new level into the, the Genesis line of actually, let's model a train. Right, you right, know? right. So, and it's a legendary train. Uh, there's not too many rail fans out there that don't know about the tank train. Yeah. And it's a tank train has been running all over North America for at least 40 years. That's so unbelievable. Now, do you see a difference between, I guess, modelers going for... Um, the different eras, or it's really your own personal cup of tea? It's your own personal cup of tea. Some guys, you know, they're into the modern era, but they still like the old billboard version. Yeah. yeah and they, yeah. they'll go for it. You know, some guys are the opposite. They just want to model exactly their era. And right. we, we allowed the different paint schemes to accommodate that. So it's whatever you feel like doing. I mean, this is the great thing about model rare yeah. is yep. you can yep. put your own spin on it. Yep, without a doubt. And again, we have both eras GATX tank train in stock now available. Um, don't miss out this time because the last one it was pre-sold out very quick. Um, so now we have few very limited quantities. Make sure you order them today at trainworld.com. Um, shop online 24/7, and you also have some other new releases coming out. Yep. Uh, what the GP7U uh, Santa Fe Topeka cab. And then this, this is just unbelievable. The EMD SD70 lease, um, just a beautiful paint scheme, electric motive. Um, just metal gorgeous. flake on there too. Yep. Simulate the actual one. 
So. It's just gorgeous stuff. I've never seen an HO engine like this. It's just unbelievable. Um, you guys just keep on setting the bar higher. Just in quality, um, your product, the, um, the the detailing, just unbelievable on these tank trains. And now it, it seems to be everything that you guys make is like close to already pre-sold out. It, it's it's getting very popular, some of the things that we're picking, and we just want to continue with that and offer a superior product for the consumer. Without a doubt. So again, you could get all your Athern products. Shop online 24-7 at trainworld.com. Thank you so much, Chris. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you.